Morning folks, we're back at the unit, just where we left off last night. Now uh, Dave nipped in before I left home and we were talking about rolling and doing full sheets on this machine. And I noticed something. Although it is a 50 inch roller and you can roll the full width, the back roller is about an inch shorter on either side and it fouls the control box look. So in order for me to get the full width of 2007, uh, 1270 out of it, I'm going to actually take this mount off here, this little section there, and you can see there were some holes, I'm not sure what's going on here, that might just be something to secure this, but it doesn't seem to be, no it doesn't, that's nothing to do with it. So I'm going to take these bolts off and see if I can shift it back two inches that way. Well, I've had a good morning's playing around. We've got the machine completely assembled. I've had it running. I was playing with a little bit of this galvanized roof support section. And as you can see, it rolled up quite nicely. It's dead thin, don't get me wrong. I just tacked it there just to keep it uh, in a cycle. And uh, yeah, should have seen the fumes come off that galve. But I'm dead happy with it. I mean, it rolled that pretty darn good if you ask me. I am going to have to learn how to use it though, because obviously when you put the brake on, it's, it winds down so it's got an extra two or three inches of sheet material. You can't just whack it into reverse for obvious reasons. And I also need to get some wire for the foot brake, for the emergency foot brake because they just add some of this electrical cable, no good. So it snapped straight away. I just thought I'd test it and it snapped. So a uh, bit of stainless steel wire for that, or oh, a bit of, bit of wire rope for that, across there, from there to there. And then if you get your finger trapped in it, and you can't reach the stop button, you just sort of stamp on the wire and it turns the machine off. It does work, I've tested the brake, it does work. But yeah, we're getting closer. Time for the big tidy up. And uh, just come across a load of olives in a box. And uh, I've got a little idea. Jim, will you do something for me? What? What? Will uh, you marry me? I'll get you. It's too big, sorry. Oh, bollocks. No. Don't you like it? I thought you liked olives. <laughs> Had a good tidy up, folks. Got everything out the way. I just need to push this. Uh, roll it back to the wall, get it out the middle of the road for the minute. But I'm not going to do it now because I'm a bit pissed off. That wanker guy who's fucking robbed everything that I worked for over the past five years has now decided to send an email out to people in the industry calling me a thief and blaming the whole situation with IVB on me. We all know that he's the fucking bastard who was responsible for it going under because he tried stealing money and putting it into an account that I didn't have access to. £108,000. He was saying that it was his director's loan that he'd paid into the company. It wasn't. It was money from the pub, the thieving bastard. And now he's saying this. Come and have a look at this. Well, I hope you can read that, folks. Pause the video. What a tosser. What a tosser. Honestly. What do you do with a tosser like Bud that? Light presents you know, he really needs to move on, doesn't he? Because he knows he's a failure. Everything he's put his hands on has failed. Every business Today he's been involved in has in failed. I've moved on, I'm ready to move on. Put the fucking thing to bed. Don't drag my name through the mud because the daily commute you're unsatisfied that you can't get on in life, mate. It's a hands -on Just drove over in the car and I'm fuming. I'm still fuming. With now let me tell you a little something about this map. Determination, you dig for boogers like miners dig for gold. Hit the jackpot. 
And why do you do it? Because the windows are up and you think we can't see you. We can. How you doing? So crack open a nice cold Bud Light, oh nabber of the nose nugget. We'd like to shake your hand, but you'll have to wash it first. Mr. Bud Light Beer, and I suppose St. Louis, Missouri. Whoa, 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 Harry, stop, man, stop, calm down. Let's just uh, rewind, take a moment, rewind. <laughs> Right, I understand you're angry, yeah? It's a primitive response. You don't want to let this thing ruin your day. It's almost a year ago, right, when this happened. It's not your fault, he's not over it. It's situations like this that reminds me of a Jill Blakeway quote. When a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. The misinformation will feel unfair, but stay above it. Trusting that other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. And frankly, that's what's going to happen. People will see the truth and they will realise what really went on. Okay, so now let's resume normal vlog service. Well, I can now put a positive spin on the day. I've had some good news. Woohoo! It's crazy, isn't it? It's like a roller coaster ride. So, we have. A quotation for the steel. There we go, £105 a sheet for the 304 dull polished plastic coated 1.5mm stainless. Oh, you can see it all there. The only thing I'm not sure about is this tube that's descaled and then the other one's dull polished. So I'm gonna have to talk to him about that because that's sort of the wrong way around. I just need descaled stainless tube for legs. So I'm going to give him a ring and we're going to get this ordered. Steel ordered folks, yes, steel's ordered. Right, let's go out. I'm done for the day. I might have a beer, celebrate. We are in the car. We're going to go and see if Nanny's in. And if Nanny's in, then Daddy can have some time on his own. Manage your way up. Bloody hell, he's driving a roller coaster. Managed to squeeze in a couple of beers at Beer Eds and one or two at the Brew Shed, of course. But now we're going home to pick the children up from the old Queen's house and then up home to edit today's vlog, which I imagine contains a lot more cursing than I anticipated. <laughs> what on earth is going on in here? Oh, he just said, tidy up. I heard you shout tidy up. I thought it was Nanny all the time. Where's Abigail? Oh, no. She went to the toilet. No, she went to the toilet. There she is. And there we have it, folks. We're going to sign off. What a crazy day. What a very nearly destructive day that was. But I managed to rein it in. I've got a lot more self-control than I give myself credit for. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for the support. <laughs>